Hey guys, just want to make a quick little video for you because I have a, to me, a huge surprise. I haven't sexed him yet, but I just sexed him. Guess what? He is a she. I know it's weird, but I'm going to try really hard to fatten her up. I'm going to put a lot of food in there. Calcium dust, a lot of it. And then after that, I'm going to sex him for you guys live in this video. Now, funny dude, one iffy. If you have, um, if you have experience in breeding, um, and you've done it before, and you came out with real hatchlings live, and they lived, um, I would like you to post a video as soon as you can of how you breed and the easiest way to breed. Because I kind of want to get into that. Gotta get this calcium off the top and then off my hand. Nasty. Okay, it's off my hand. And now what we gotta do is we gotta Get some in the top. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Now, this is the approximate much you should use. It's like a little bit. But I'm just putting in a little bit extra because... They don't get as much as they should be, so I'm just going to put in a little extra, and plus extra is going to be over it. A lot of it's going to stay in the box after I put the food in the cage. Okay, so, I'm going to put the calcium up, put it on the top, and crap, this scared me. Okay. We have here, we, we have a box. Okay, we have another box. Box top and a box. Okay. Now I have calcium as I put it the top on. Snap. Snap. Okay. I go like this. Eh, go like that. Okay. Put my fingers here. Hold it. Do you have the food right there? Make sure all the calcium gets right there. Man, my iPad case is not cooperating. Put it right there. Let me fix the camera view. Okay. And you basically just shake it around. Okay. So now what you have is see the crickets? The crickets are all white because they have calcium over them. Some of the um some of the worms don't. So you just want to kind of like sprinkle it over them in a little pinch. See that? That's how they're sprinkled. Mix them up a little bit. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I really don't want to get calcium dust on my case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera right there. I will be back in like 30 seconds. Because i got to put the food in the big cage. In their food dish. Okay. Okay, get the cage top off. Let's do this 
same. So then what you gotta do is you gotta get other food and just put it in the food bowl. Man, the crickets look like snowmen. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like after I get all the worms and stuff in there. Okay? Maybe just like put a little calcium in your bowl, like just calcium dust. Let them in the box so they still they get a little extra calcium. Just so they're nice and healthy. Then we're just to get calcium. Now kind of what this calcium is, I think it's kinda of like uh Say, I think it's kind of like milk powder. Nah, I don't think it is. I don't suggest like, hey, I'm gonna eat Repto Cow. Yeah, no. Do not do that. Okay. Man, Man I have a lot of food in here. Okay. it out, put it back in there, um, no, that's it, okay, now what I'm going to show you, now what I'm going to show you how to do it is, um, put in the case, and of course I just got calcium dust on it, okay, see my fingers, see how they're all calcium -y? okay, Oh, first off, look at those crickets. I don't think you can see it because I'm blocking the light. See those big white spots? Those are crickets. It's, they look like snowmen. Okay, so you got your fingers like this. Now, when you put this in water, it kind of makes like milk, kind of. So it wouldn't hurt to like rinse your fingers off in there. Actually, it makes it even more healthier for them. Okay. Now that's my female. Pretty sure because I just sexed her. And she's getting older, so I'm pretty sure she is a female. Indeed a room. Let me wash off my case real quick. Okay. Clean. Not really, but continuing. Okay. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the case here. Hopefully you can see that. Then we got a female. She just ate a very large cricket. And she ate a very large mealworm. So. Not saying she's full. back in there. Okay, can you see that? I don't think you can. Okay, now we're going to get Leo. We're going to sex him and see what he is. Okay, we got him. Successively, we got him. Okay, we get the camera ready. The iPad. Okay. I don't know how to do this very much, how to hold him. Oh my gosh, I think this is a female too. I think so. Oh my gosh, if it is, oh my gosh, that is amazing. Huh, you see him? Her. Sorry. Okay, I'm not going to show you guys yet, because... This is very, whoops, not a whoops, he's fine, let me see, stop moving, gosh, I'm trying to tell if you're a guy, okay, stop, stay still, let me see, stop it, okay, Okay, 
This is indeed a boy. Okay. Now, there's like, I'm going to see two small budges and see where those lines are on my fingers. There's going to be a hole in there. So, and then for a male, there will be two more bulges right there. Um, maybe I should like draw a little picture for because this is like very confusing. Um. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna draw a little detailed one. But here are the feet. Here are the feet. So I drew a little picture, not very detailed, not a very good one, trust me, a way better draw than this. Okay. Here we have the bottom half of a leopard gecko. You have the tail? Okay, let me describe this. Okay, there's two bulges right here. And there's two more. Basically, those are together like that. I just didn't take my time. And then there's a line here, and then there's a little hole in there. Like when you bend the tail down just a little bit, make sure you don't do it a lot so it's hurting him and he doesn't drop his tail or nothing. Okay, this is a male, okay? A female would be like this. There would be nothing here, nothing on this finger. It would just be that part. And a male has that part and that part. Safe, um... So yeah, um, so, that one, not that one, but that one, has all this stuff, so that means he's a male. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure that one only has that part, not this part, but like where my middle finger is pointing to that first part, and not these two. So that means he is a she. Hopefully that a little helps you guys. This is like a how-to video of how to tell if your leopard gecko is a male or female. Okay. I'm just going to check one more time on, on the other lizard, not the one that I just showed you guys, but the one that, that, I, th that I think is a she. I'm going to check her one more time. Just make sure. Okay. She's not really letting me do it. Because she's like really squirmy. Yep. That's a she. Okay, let me see if I can show you. Okay. See those two bulges in that hole in there? She just squinked at me. And there's, see the two bulges right there? And then there's like a hole right there. That is a she. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the he. Let me see if I can get a good hold of them so you can see them. Okay, yeah, they're two different, so I know that this is a he and that's a she, okay? Okay, so let me hold them right there. Stay. You're okay. 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 So what we got here is... 